Good evening. Welcome to Luther College Information Night, and thank you so much for coming. I am here this evening to speak with you about my own experience coming to university and to provide you with information on Luther College specifically so that you feel more equipped to make these decisions confidently. Whether you're in grade 12 and thinking about life after graduation, or maybe you're well into your career, but you've always wanted to come to university or come back to university. Maybe you're a parent and you want to partner with your child to help them make a good decision. Whoever you are and wherever you're here, you are welcome. I'd like to begin with a land acknowledgement because the University of Regina and its federated colleges are situated on Treaty 4 lands and we have a presence in Treaty 6. I wish to acknowledge that this place is still home to a diverse population of Indigenous peoples and pay respect to the journey of reconciliation that we all share and of which we're all a part. My name is Amy Dacu and I've worked on campus for about 10 years now. I started in the Lifelong Learning Center and Conservatory of Performing Arts, and then I moved into enrollment services as the financial aid officer for about half a decade. From there, I moved to Luther, and here's a picture of some students out front of our building. Luther was always home to me because I received a degree in English literature through Luther with a double minor in religious studies and psychology. And I even lived in the student village at Luther College, which is their residence on campus. I really truly loved my experience at Luther and so I'm honored to be here to help you think through your choices and to give you some information on how Luther College can help you reach your goals. I'm joined by my colleague Maria who has a wealth of university experience in her own right. She is a recent graduate of psychology honors and during her degree she worked in our library and as a peer advisor so helping students with their first semester course selection and she was also a U of R ambassador and participated in study abroad. So we're in good hands tonight with Maria. She will be running the chat, answering questions and sending a link or two throughout. Let's start with the entrance counseling link, Maria. Throughout the evening, you can book an entrance counseling appointment at any time and we can meet with you over the next few weeks to discuss anything you'd like. Uh, that link is also available on the Luther College University homepage. So keep it open in case you decide you'd like to book an appointment. Thus concludes what we would call in the English world, our series of preliminaries and in the business webinar world, our housekeeping. So you can relax because the housekeeping is all done. We'll get to the presentation. And my hope is to have this all wrapped up in about 30 minutes so that you're soon cozy up on your couch with an autumnal cup of hot cocoa, despite our summery weather and just thinking great thoughts about your future. I wanted to start with a short video prepared for us by our pre president, the Reverend Dr. Mark Cherry. I wanted us to hear from the president because in my opinion, leadership has a profound impact on student experience because it sets the vision for the college and shapes administration. Luther has a history of not just treating their students well, but treating their employees well. So much so that it actually took me a few years of watching the Luther job postings before I could apply because people have a tendency to love it here and then just stay. President Jerry brought a very unique, creative, and healthy leadership to our college, which has helped staff and faculty view their roles as vocations rather than jobs. We want to do our best for you, and that really resounds from every nook and cranny and results in, I hope, super happy students. So without further ado, let's hear from our Reverend Doctor. Hi there, my name is Mark Jerry, and I'm the president of Luther College. I want to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about the values of Luther and why Luther is such a great place for you to choose to come for post-secondary education. Luther is built on a community. If there's one thing that Luther is all about, it's about gathering together in community and about caring for one another. We have incredible services to help students transition, particularly from high school to university. We have small class sizes. We have faculty who will know who you are. We have academic advising team that know you and track you all the way through your programs. We will take care of you. And that's one of the benefits of coming to a small institution like Luther. The benefits of a large university of the University of Regina and the benefits of a small community like Luther. Luther College's values are based around things like sustainability, global citizenship, and caring for the world around us. As we build our new Vision 2025, which is a new strategic plan for Luther, it is around these values. I believe Luther has an important role to play in the healing of the world as we come out of this pandemic. We will care to come back stronger. We will care to come back in a way that offers sustainability, offers looking after the environment, looking after one another. I also believe that Luther is a place where students learn to be critical thinkers. 
and if we need anything in this pandemic, as it comes to an end, are those who can be good critical thinkers who care for the world around them. Think deeply, act passionately, and live faithfully as part of our community at Luther. So that's a bit about our college from the perspective of our leader. Thank you, President Jerry. And I'm excited to show you what your own experience here could be like using my own. And to tell you a bit about my university experience, I think I have to tell you a little bit about before university. I came from a small town, but I grew up and lived on a large farm. Over the years, we had everything from cattle to sheep, pigs and ducks. There were definitely more cows than there were neighbors. The farm was actually described to me once as being in the middle of nowhere. I was in the largest graduating class in approximately a decade, which had 30 students, so we knew each other very well, and I'd never left the area for longer than a few days. I didn't know what I wanted to do after graduation. Education wasn't really a driving force in my life at the time as it is now, because education had always felt like an assignment. High school was assigned. It was something I had to do, so I did. I received a view book in the mail from Luther College one day. I decided to apply, but I didn't think I would get in, and then I did get in. So I had a decision to make. I decided to register at Luther for an arts degree and major in psychology. Now, you might notice I don't have an arts degree in psychology. I said I have an arts degree in English literature. So consider that for yourself. You don't need to know with finality what it is you'll end up with when you start out. Because for the most part, when you come to university, you're really learning about yourself in a new way and being exposed to new concepts and figuring out what motivates you, what it is that in a way you can't live without knowing. I thought it was psychology, but turns out it was philosophy and sociology and English literature and women's and gender studies and a little bit of psychology, a little bit of everything, frankly. I studied whatever I could and graduated formally with a major in English. What I loved about Luther really was that it was a welcoming place where I could make mistakes and grow as a person and everyone who was there wanted to see me succeed and Luther built that into their hiring and into their programming. I didn't know yet I would have support services campus wide and every aspect of that campus support would offer me something to hold on to and build on to and get that degree that I had come to get or in my case specifically a totally different degree that I liked just as much. But there I was, my first night alone, in my dorm room, in the big old city. I was living in the student village at Luther College, and at the time, I didn't realize what a very good choice that was, but I had just closed the door to my bedroom, my mother had just driven 120 miles away, and it struck me that childhood was over. I was on the precipice of adulthood, if not already taking my first few steps into it. So what do I do? I open up my textbook, because I have religious studies the next day at 8.30 a.m., and I was absolutely blown away. Coming from a small town in the early 2000s, keep in mind this was before the internet was ubiquitous, so it wasn't as easy to gain exposure to other cultures as it is now. Learning about Judaism, Buddhism, Islam was really very fascinating for me, as my town at the time it was a bit insular and homogenous, God bless it, but coming to see these new ideas and ways of living kind of rocked my world. But even though I was excited by my textbook, the next morning, I was so nervous before class that I actually threw up in my garbage can. Don't worry, this has a happy ending. I'm here tonight and I'm thrilled to share this with you, even that part, because I think it was normal that I was nervous and good that I was nervous because whether we're on a first date or starting a new job or in our first day of university, those feelings can serve as a springboard to being our best selves. They tell us that what we're doing is important to us. And I went to class despite being nervous. And it was led by Dr. Brenda Anderson, who is pictured here. I walked out thinking, I can do this. I seriously loved it. She was so funny, so charismatic, brilliant, the kind of intelligence that anyone would aspire to be. And I figured, okay, if this is university, then university is the best. I was in the bundles program and I have some bundles listed on the screen. You'll hear a bit about them from Dr. Petrie in a second, but basically I could take my first semester of classes, almost all of them, with the same students, and I got to know my professors well and made friends easily, which was key for me being used to that high school environment. I'm still friends with people from the bundles to this day, and in my third year when I needed a job, my old bundle pal hooked me up with a job at the German club where he was working at the time. I would say that university was the most healthy transformation of self that I had experienced because in high school, I had always felt like I was trying on someone else's shoes and none of them fit. 
in university, I learned so much about who I was and wanted to be, and it helped me strengthen the better parts of myself and review or retire thoughts and opinions I held that weren't productive for myself or social progress. I definitely think that services uh, and the professors of Luther really shine, and my advisor felt like more than just someone I met with once a semester. She knew me and my interests and helped me pick classes that would give me the best chance to excel. I was able to study everywhere on campus. I loved my Nakota language through First Nation University, and I loved having access to the resources of the larger campus, like counseling services, while knowing I had a small home base to return to that took care of me and addressed all my needs. So really, there are only benefits to registering through Luther College because you get the support of the U of R, its degree, its services, but through the Luther reputation and all of its additional supports. So what can you study here or there, depending on your existential paradigm? Luther offers degrees in the arts or humanities, as some say, uh, the sciences, media, art, and performance. So that's things like the visual arts, performing arts, and creative technologies. We have great programs for pre-professional students, whether you aspire to be a doctor or a lawyer or a journalist or something else. We can help you get real world career experience through the co-op program, and we can help you study all over the world with the help of the University of Regina's many amazing partnerships. I'd like for us to now hear from Dr. Petrie, the Dean of Academics. She has prepared a short video that is approximately three minutes about why she's proud to be the Dean, our leadership for faculty and academic programming. Hi and welcome. I'm Yvonne Petrie, Dean of Luther College and a professor of history. I'm happy to take a few minutes to tell you about Luther College. Our professors, who are members of the Faculty of Arts, Sciences, and MAP, are highly regarded researchers in their fields, but they also place a high value on being excellent university teachers and getting to know their students. University is a time for you to explore new interests, and sometimes it's that one amazing professor that you take a class from that makes all the difference. We also have some innovative programs that are unique to Luther College. Our Writing Across the Disciplines coordinator works with professors to create innovative classroom activities and assignments that allow students to focus and develop writing and communication skills, which frankly, I would say are the most important things students can learn at university. Our first year bundles program offers specialized English courses that are paired with courses in other disciplines to provide an integrated first year experience. So for example, the English Science Bundle is especially attractive to science and pre-professional students the Justice and Journalism Bundle is great for students interested in things like law, justice studies, journalism, programs like social work. Our Pre-Nursing Bundle is set up for those interested in applying to nursing programs uh, in the province. We also have two first-year interdisciplinary courses that provide an opportunity for students to explore current social issues in creative ways. I'm also really proud uh, that Luther is home to NVSSN, the Nonprofit and Voluntary Sector Studies Network, an in initiative that rose from our collective desire to be of service to our local community, especially those working in the nonprofit and voluntary sectors. One feature of NVSSN is our Nonprofit Sector Leadership and Innovation Certificate which is a 15 credit hour selection of courses on topics like governance, community planning, advocacy, and development. The certificate is easily integrated into other course programs and provides a range of skills and expertise that can serve a student well after graduation. So those are a few of the things that are, are unique to us at Luther College. The faculty and staff at Luther College place a high premium on getting to know our students and helping you through your journey at university. 
I know that starting university is really exciting. I remember what that feels like, but I know that it can also be somewhat overwhelming. At Luther College, you have a small home on a big campus. I hope to see you at Luther College sometime down the road. Thank you, Dr. Petrie. A couple of tidying up things I think you need to know if this all sounds very good to you and you'd like to come try Luther is that we have extra scholarships. So be sure to look into those as you can apply to both the U of R scholarships and Luther College scholarships in the winter. We have spoken about the relational aspect of university and the academic aspect, but we also know there's a financial aspect and we don't want that to be a barrier for you. So check out our website in May for the application or book an entrance counseling appointment or email us and we can talk to you about scholarships and student loans. There are also unique student supports to be found at Luther. Not only do we have our chaplain who is there as a listener and a resource for you, perhaps not as formally as counseling services, but a really nice person to have coffee coffee with and he can help connect you with any spiritual components on campus that you might be looking for. But we also have LUSA, uh, our own students association, who host events and work toward all kinds of student life initiatives, so be sure to check them out. And Free Professional Student Society, which provides information on applications to pharmacy or law school or any other professional school you might be pursuing. So again, you're likely noticing a trend that there are a lot of opportunities to succeed if you choose them. And there's really not any need to be nervous at all. Lastly, my last slide for you has to be about the student village. If any of you are from out of town, I would be remiss not to mention what a great place this was for me to grow and get comfortable on campus. I believe that it was fundamental to me succeeding as somebody who did not live in Regina prior to university. I didn't need to worry about the responsibilities of cooking and cleaning or zipping down to the superstore for groceries and toilet paper because that was all included. My focus was on studying, making connections and learning the lay of the land. I didn't need to worry about washing pots and plates after a long day and the utilities were included which removed multiple monthly bills we had great wi-fi and it was free and there was free laundry which can't be taken for granted the social spaces they kept the floors quiet but the recreation was still there so i felt really at ease and i'm thankful that all these years later i made the choice to start there so if you're moving away from home you'll probably want to consider the student village so how can we help contact us we'd love to meet new people and connect them with resources apply for a degree at www.urconnected.ca using the u of r application but select luther as your campus of study on that application you also might want to check out our youtube don't worry i'm not like if you liked what you heard tonight smash that subscribe button but uh we do have a wonderful bank of resources and we're constantly building it so there's going to be something that interests you now and certainly more in the future we have introductory lectures so if you're thinking, oh, am I going to be able to do university? Yes, you can. And you can watch the introductory lecture to women's and gender studies and microbiology to show yourself that, yes, you can do it. We have student spotlights. So you can hear from folks like yourselves who are presently studying with us or have recently studied with us about their experience. Alumni features. So a French historian and a Crown prosecutor are featured as our alumni right now. Uh, we also have resources on like how to write a good essay, how to use the library. So just tons of good stuff. I think that's all the time I have or should keep you for since I made some promises at the beginning. But I just wanted to say that wherever life takes you and wherever you land, I hope good things come. And I believe they will. So we'll stick around for a few minutes to answer any questions. But otherwise, take good care and I hope all your dreams come true. Yeah.